You a big Hootie and the Blowfish fan, Dan? Huge. What was their, uh, that, what's their big song? Wagon Wheel? Sure. Yes, probably. That's yeah. just the lead singer guy. I don't know. You mean Darius Burst Rucker? Yes, Not I do. Not a lot of people know that his full name is Darius Burst. Oh, that's a good name. Uh, yeah, and he's, he's gotten into the video game business uh, back in the 80s, actually, before he became a celebrity. He was involved in this series of shooters with Taito. Okay, Renaissance man. Yeah. No, no none of that... None of that is actually true. Oh, okay. This is Darius Burst Chronicle Saviors, Darius Burst CS. Uh, it is a game in the Darius Burst series, which is a part of the larger Darius series. Darius is being, it's a bunch of, it's shooters, you shoot fish, and you shoot fish. Okay. It looks like it dates back to 86. Yeah. If this copy right, is 86. But yeah, so Darius Burst CS actually, you know, Darius Burst came out on the PSP, and then there was uh, Darius Burst AC, uh, another Chronicle, I think, uh, that came out in arcades. Was it kind of part of that like revival of like when there's Galaga Legions DX and Championship like no, around no, no, really. that time? This is just kind of another one of those, uh, more or less. And, and okay. the Darius franchise in arcades uh, was uh, kind of known for having these super wide screens. Hmm. Uh, and so some of the stuff I'm not even sure what it means because it's like I, no. I feel like this is in the context of maybe it being a linked up arcade machine. But it assigned me to Cabinet Eleven. I don't know what that. All I don't, right. I don't know what that means. Let's hope that's a good one. Uh, so like you know we have some of the, some of these options here that we can screw with. Uh, but some of this stuff has, has eluded me so far in terms of, of what we're actually doing here. We can we can access. Oh, this is a block scene. Don't turn turn the recording off. Uh -oh. We can't look at Darius Odyssey. Oh, jeez. Look at Queen Fossil. I feel like a pirate. Look at Eclipse Eye. That is, these Absolute look like fish defender. and bugs. That dimension diver looks real cool. Yeah, I so like that a lot. What if we fought a giant uh, space fish in space? Always. That's the question that Darius has always allowed us to answer. Isn't uh, part of a thing being a fish technically that it's underwater? Like, if it's in space, is it still technically a fish? Or is it part of a different a phylum? That's a word, right? Well, I think these things are robots anyway, so I, you know, I think it could still be a robot fish and not have to be underwater, but... Yeah, like Duff McWhalen was a whale robot, and he wasn't in water. Yeah, but he was still a whale. I mean, he probably would have been right at home in water. Yeah, well, he's a robot. He would have, like, short-circuited. Well, well, Bubble, Bubble Man was fine. I mean, you know, they make they make electronic things that can last underwater. That's true. That's true. So maybe maybe he just put himself into one of those shells that, like, a camera would be in. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, all right, so uh, I can... Holy... Uh, you were not kidding about this widescreen. Yeah, screen. so that's, uh, imagine this, you know, being full screen on, on a series of monitors kind of strung together. Like, oh. Taito, you know, Ninja, they did that Ninja Warriors game that was that same uh, type of thing. Um, wow. And, and, yeah, so it's this super wide screen, which is kind of cool... <laughs> In arcades, because it was like a novel thing. It was before 16 by 9 was, you know, really a, a thing. And, you know, now presenting it this way, it seems a little like, <laughs> I, on some level, I kind of wish it filled the screen. Um, <laughs> all right, so we've got uh, original mode, original EX mode, and chronicle mode. Uh, we, event mode is not available. I think it, it might be like an arcade dip switch type thing for event mode. I don't know. Hmm. Um your stock of ships will not decrease until you okay. clear the game. So that's well, just the so, Nintendo yeah, have fun yeah, and play the but game. But it's still thing. on free play, so we can still continue as many times as we want on default entry. Huh. Uh, so this uh, has always been an outrun type thing. Or a Star uh, Fox thing. It's an outrun type thing. <laughs> um, and oh god, we're going to pick normal. Uh, okay, this is a four player game. I don't know if you want to just jump right in with oh, me here. Oh, sure. Okay, well, go ahead. Yeah, get me in here. Okay, hit, uh, hit start there. I'm going to go with the Legend Silver Hawk Burst. These are all good names. Uh, I can't read that text at all. That's not important. The small text in these shooters is not actually important at all, really. Okay, I'm gonna be this. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Let me see if I can remember the buttons here. Uh, well, I think it's pretty clear okay, here. Okay, yeah. So you, you have a shoot button, which is square. You've got X, which is your burst button. Uh, and then there are two shoulder buttons. One turns you around, and the okay. other one drops like a little laser platform for a few seconds uh, to, to continue shooting. Okay, and when you said burst, is that a uh, is that like a just there's a, a meter a under your ship? You hold thing? It, no, you hold it down. It's a beam weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, so you'll drain the meter under your ship, and it will slowly fill back up. You gotcha. It doesn't have to be full for you to burst, uh, but you can burst longer if it's full. Okay, so square is just my standard shoot. Yeah. Ooh, I got a little ball shoot down my ship. Uh huh. Okay, cool. All right. And so because we pick normal, we start in zone B. Uh, you know, like that. Going back to that outrun map, kind of end up with different. Uh, different zones depending on what you choose. All right. Uh, generally, the lower you go, the harder it gets. And shoot stuff. Yeah. 
Uh, L1 drops your little thing, like I did right there. I, I guess I'm not understanding and the R1 And R1 turns thing. around. What, what is the L1 thing doing for uh, me? It's, it, well, for me, it dropped a little thing. I don't know what it does for your it's ship. It's not doing anything. Okay, it might not do anything. I don't know. That, huh. Your ship might be different. What do these little uh, little balls do? When uh, we pick them up? up and it fills up the meter. Uh, you see, up, up there's your meter up there. Okay. I don't know. Probably changes your weapon. How stingy should I be with my X attack? Um, it, it fills back up, so you can just hit Whoa. it. Whoa. And that meter under your ship will, will fill, so I can hit it and do this. Okay. All right, this all seems pretty cool. Is no, this I a thing up. where if I touch the edges at all, I'm going to blow up immediately? Yes. Man, those make me nervous. Uh, and you, oh man, so I'm just getting. Ah! We got ripped up there. Okay, man. You, sure, let's continue. No more ship left. Uh, it's hit L2. Okay. For whatever reason, that seems to be the start button. Sure. Whoa. Oh, wow, okay. Holy crap. All right, these guys are getting the big one. Whoa! It's actually kind of. There's something about the size of it, and maybe it's just we're. We're in Fort Quick Look here now, and we're really close to this TV. Uh, that it's actually kind of hard to keep up with the, the full screens of action here. Yeah, yeah, you're like it, it's like when you sit in the front row of a movie theater yeah. and you have to actually turn. Warning: your head. a huge battleship hard wheel is approaching fast. All right. So, so this is where the a huge battleship is approaching fast thing comes from. It's from Darius. Oh, okay. If you see people on the internet talking about it, I, I assume you tap square, right? You are not holding it. Uh, you can hold it. If but you I mean, want, but yeah, it seems, like, it, seems like, it seems like you maybe get a few more shots per second if you're tapping. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played a shooter where I felt comfortable holding it in. I yeah. always felt like I was going faster if I was tapping. Uh, I should have been that closer. Just keep, just keep shooting. Anywhere in particular? Uh, I mean, it, it's flashing, so I think we're we're hitting it. Uh oh, Getting and bullet hell yeah, here. don't. To look out for enemy fire. That's my <laughs> advice. You used to work for Prima, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You ever play Zexus? X E X Y Z on NES? Yes. Uh, yeah. This reminds me of the boss fights in that for some mm. reason. Oh, right, I forgot about that. that. When no it blinks, good. it's usually shooting that exact beam weapon. And right. seems like most of the bosses have that weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, so no health bars, it looks like, for the bosses, right? Yeah, it'll just it'll blow up eventually. Okay. Or like that. Like oh, that. Yeah. We blew it up. I'm a big fan of the boss, like when you strike the final blow, the light escaping. Mm -hmm. I, was it Mortal Kombat 3 Shao Kahn that did that? Yeah. Oh, Do you want to go to E or F? Uh, F. F. B zone is over. We are now rushing into F zone. Be on your guard. Good luck. It's out. It's outrun. I mean, I like Outrun too, but I like Star Fox better. Oh. I mean, they're both very good games. Outrun is better than Star Fox. This argument again. Star Fox. The, the Star, endless Star yeah. Fox outrun <laughs> argument. Star Fox is wins tearing every this time. office apart. Oh God! Star Fox wins every time. I can't even think straight. I'm so focused. I'm so mad about this thing. But you know, I'm saying Star Fox, Super Nintendo, and 64, and that's it. That's all I'm talking about. I also really like Outrun. Uh, I hate it when I can't tell if background items are background items or yeah, I'm die yeah. Run that's, into there's them, definitely you know? some of this stuff. Oh God! Ah! Oh man! So I can turn around here and shoot this way. Yeah, I've not been doing that. I should do that more. Phantom Castle! So, so you know, th this is an arcade game and it's not particularly long. Like, it's three boss fights and then it ends. Oh, wow. Uh, so we're, this is, you know, it's three stages. We're at the end of stage two of our three-stage journey. Branching paths. Yeah, yeah, so it's about, you know, it really is about playing it multiple times. Ah. Um, I don't think this game looks especially great. I mean, you know, it's, I think it's like based on an arcade game, and then, like I said, you know, Darius Burst came out on the PSP, so I don't, maybe the original assets were just not great. I mean, it's but not particularly unique looking, but like I don't know, some of these bosses. I like its crazy fish bosses. Yeah, yeah. Though this one, this one, I don't know what this is. This is not necessarily looking like a fish to me. Not I guess really. maybe we blow these more of this shell off. We'll find out, but. Uh, and also, this is a, a, a sixty dollars game. It's cheaper. Oh, on, it's really? cheaper on PC. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of. Huh, that's surprising. You know, it's, this it has some additional modes that I haven't really dug into yet, uh, but it doesn't. I don't. I don't know that I would. I don't know if it, this does not. I don't know like that I would pay sixty dollars for this thing. Uh, huh.
Like I know that you know that the Darius franchise is well respected and all that other stuff, but it's, it's, it's I don't know. I don't know. Did you ever play much of it? Not right here and there. Yeah. Hey, there's a fish in there. Okay. Hey! hey. It's like a puffin. Puffin? Is that what that is? Uh, puffer fish? Sure. Puffins are penguins, aren't they? Uh, yeah, because that cereal that's called puffins has a penguin on the box. Okay. So I know that. Ah! Oh boy. Puffer fish are the ones that are poison, but you eat it in You're Japan. You think of the fugu. Right? right, isn't that a pu puffer fish type thing? No more ship left. Probably. It's probably not actually a pufferfish type thing, but the pufferfish, you know, when it detects a threat, it puffs up to look tough. That's a cool thing to do. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Jeez, Good Lord. no more ship left. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously, you know, games like this are built around you getting so good at them that you are clearing them with one credit. Yeah. The, the one CC, uh, which has never really been my, yeah, the, the, that, 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 like, direction in shooter development was kind of like, eh, that's not really what I'm into. Yeah. I never got too into, like, straight-up bullet hell games either, you know? Sure. I never, I, I never just got really got into, like, score pursuits in yeah. arcade games. And for me, it was always, like, how long can I last? Yeah, me too. And I also like really like big, Donkey cool Kong. looking it was bosses. Like, how high can you get? How many levels can I see? Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I always like seeing, like, what the next boss or, like, uh, you know, Total Carnage or Smash TV oh, sure. or, yeah, yeah. you know... Well, any kind of brawler. Ended, but even like, you know, Pac-Man, it was always like, oh, I got up to, you know, the fifth key or something. That's pretty awesome. J or yeah. K? J. All right. F-Zone is over. I thought Altered Beast was good because you got your own different uh, guy you turned into each time yeah. and a different boss each level. That was always fun. Yeah. Yeah. You break this apart like in Star Fox? No, it's more like Outrun. You kind of have to drift around oh, okay. obstacles and, and gotcha. stay alive. This seems difficult. What the fuck are those things? So last time I played this, I chose the easy route, and I had a... Well, now I, I think I have it now. I had a shield that seemed like it would absorb one hit. Oh, okay. Is that a power-up, or is uh, that... No, it seemed like that was just thing. kind of stock, and maybe playing it on the easy gives you that, because we've not had it here. Huh. Though I do seem to have something around me right now. You ever play Abadox? Here and there. It was like this. It was, you know, usually horizontal, but it would switch to vertical, mm -hmm. and you're like fighting through a giant body. So you're like fighting through the intestines oh, and through right, this guy's yeah. skull and shit. I mean, that was the the plot of like Life Force, the Gradius follow up from oh, okay. Konami, too. Uh, which actually, that game just came out on the Japanese uh, PSN store. We will. From Hamster? From uh, Hamster Joints. Hamster right. releasing Konami. Awesome. Uh, ah. Uh, so yeah, nor this this is a you know the normal set of stages, and it's it's a lot harder than the easy ones. Makes so sense. That's checks out. How about Barai Fighter? You ever play that? Not. I, I couldn't tell you anything about Barai Fighter <laughs> other than that it's a shooter of some kind. But yeah, so I probably looked at it at one point. I think being of that age, I always just got like NES games for Christmas that my family would see and be like, ah, oh, that's got a cool ship or something on it. Right. I get that. And the games weren't necessarily always that no, great. I yeah, just played the shit not. out of them. Right. You know? I was a big 1942 fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about 1943? Yeah, that was great too. Uh oh. Uh, you crashing into the sun? You're not supposed to do that. They use this pattern a lot. Yeah, they, they like to swirl in. Yeah, see, this seems totally fine. Hungry like, gluttons! It seems totally fine as like one of those like, you know, $15 downloadable games or something. Like, I'm, I'm really am surprised to hear 60. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a bit of a shock to me as well. I guess what, it's a fish. Oh yeah. Is it friendly? Uh, hang on, let me ask. All right. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. nope. not at all, actually. Ah. You play many shooters that do like a uh, like a Gunstar Heroes thing where you can get power ups and like mix and match them. 
I think that'd be cool if more shooters. Did I, that. Yeah, where you like you go combo and kind of yeah, I got a weapon. homing thing and a missile, right. and they combine and do this cool thing, you know. I think yeah, I think that's a cool idea. I love in Gunstar Heroes. I thought that did you it. You ever played really Gyarus well. on the Genesis, where you kind of you had a, a button that would basically like shoot out like a tether, so you would kind of catch enemies and steal their powers. No, like a Kirby type thing. Yeah, yeah, but like a, it was actually a lot like a Kirby type thing, where you'd kind of just grab onto it and then you know you would have homing weapon or you know something like that, and there was like just one enemy that was like undoubtedly the best weapon in the game, <laughs> but you had to catch it and then not die or you'd lose. You know. No, I don't so think I ever played that. It. That it's a cool. cool. It was an eight megabyte game. All right. Or a dynamite heavy. Yeah. Threw your head at things. Mm-hmm. Ah. No, wait, I'm thinking of, am I thinking of Decap Attack? You're definitely thinking of Decap okay, Attack. Okay, because Dynamite Heady did not throw his head, right? He didn't throw his head. I forget what Dynamite Heady did. But Decap Attack, Yeah, man. I was more of a Kid Chameleon man. Okay. I like James Pond Jr. Mm. Kid Chameleon, you would wear different helmets, and that would give you different abilities. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of these fish have shields. Ah. Some of these fish have murdered me. Jeez. What a poem. Yeah, it's a haiku. <laughs> okay. It's a new haiku. It doesn't oh. really oh, adhere wow. to the 575 thing. You don't really adhere to tradition when. No, no, it's, it's N U with an umlaut. New oh. haiku. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> Back in the lab. <laughs> Jeez, this guy's taking a lot of damage. Look out for that. Uh, that's sonar. Ah! I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Oh, I'm dead. I'm super dead. Get out of here, fish. I've gone fishing and it's really nothing like this. Do the fish blow up at the end? No, you just use it. Why would anyone fish? You kind of just throw them back in the water. That's... Or your uncle, you know, cooks them. Neither of those options sounds like much fun. Yeah, it's all right. I feel like I get 95% of the fishing experience by standing near water. <laughs> I mean, that's nice, too. Like, being yeah, near no, water it's nice, is it's nice. nice. It's like relaxing or whatever. I just don't need to fish to do it. <laughs> you want to go stand near some water? There is yeah, a moment sure. of excitement when you can tell you got something on your line. You get to go, ha, and you got to set the hook sure. and pull it in. Like Final zone is over. We didn't even meet Star Fox's dad. Who? We didn't do it right. Yeah, it was... He has sunglasses. You thought he was dead, mm. but he's not. Oh, look at him. Oh, later. Yeah. So the Silver Hawks fought off the battleship, the enemy's onslaught continued. So you're swordfish in space. Mm hmm. What else? Suddenly, a mysterious eye appears before Fox, the Silver Hawks. The Star Fox is dead. It's a Ferrari, it's and there's a lady <laughs> in it that is very. <laughs> Critical of your driving. <laughs> oh, that's nice. True peace. They put out some Darius games on the Genesis over here that I want to say they renamed. Hmm. Was it Aleste? I forget. I, uh, like it sounded familiar when you described like the giant space fish and stuff like that. Yeah. And but I. I I don't remember Darius it's one of those, Yeah, like Dar it, it's, there's one of, it's one of those things where it's like, the, yeah, the fish bosses and the, you know, giant warship approaching stuff is like kind of iconic in a way. Um, but... I gotta add my name here. I don't think, I don't think I'm on here. Well, Aww. mind your head when you're leaving. <laughs> okay, I like that they keep that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Someone hit their head back there, I think. You okay? Is it Drew? You okay, Drew? We're in the fort, Drew. We're in the, we're in the quick look fort. We can't see you. Okay. Move the TV. Okay, move that TV. Can we just keep it like this? I like this fort. No. <laughs> uh, so I actually don't know how to get back to the menu other than rebooting the game. Uh, I didn't want to start violent, another game. Violent Ruler. Violent Ruler? Yeah. Hungry Gluttons again. Phantom Castle. Everyone loves Phantom Castle. All right, I'm actually just going to relaunch the game here. Okay. Uh, and we'll load up the other mode and see what the deal is with that. Uh, yeah, this is on the PC as well. I want to say the PC version was 40 bucks on sale, but it's normally 50 So okay. even that one seems, you know, 
There's an expense. Let's see CS mode. I wonder if the, the Steam one has the option for multiple monitors and super oh, wide screen. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. That'd actually be really cool. All right, Darius, year 1906, turn of the century, June. It's been one year since the war, but many planets are on Belsar control. The planet saviors must free mankind. I mean, they're, they're the planet savers, you'd think. So is this more of a set progression? Or I don't know. Let's six uh, levels I, down I, there. I don't I really have. Okay, I can I can I can zoom out. Huh. But that's Oruriba. Yeah, I wonder if this is more of a, a set set story. Preset or select? Let's select. Oh well. So here you have your different ships, uh, but they're all they're all locked. So we'll go with preset. All these presets and modes reminds me of all those like Japanese fighting games where it's like, ah, I don't know what B mode or F mode is for my character. I support something. Just choose Zism. Okay. Oh, so look at this. This is it fills the damn screen. Yeah. And sings. <laughs> Okay, so they've got a mode in there, you know, so, yeah, that other mode is kind of more focused on emulating the arcade experience, and then, you know, kind of have this other stuff. That's cool. It seems like holding the button actually shoots just as fast as tapping. <sighs> it doesn't feel as good, though. You're right, it does not feel as good. The ultimate is in the arcade, though, because then tapping buttons in an arcade yeah, is so much yeah. more rewarding. Like some dog fighting music. Yeah, it's very relaxing. Yep. Yeah. Got into the song. Sing about beating oppressors and freedom, yeah. also. <laughs> yeah. It's like if you wanted a Metal Gear equivalent <laughs> in your Darius. <laughs> in more codex. Yeah. You could totally do that in the corner. You got yeah, enough screen yeah. real estate here. You can have like, I don't know, some kind of guy and a lady show up and say, we're driving this Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Rico Rodriguez just blew up those giant towers. That's fine. About to fall on you. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah. It's a big ass crab. It fuck. is a giant enemy crab. Fuck that thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Which, you know, is wholly appropriate. Yes. For this franchise. Oh geez. Look out for that. Bubble City. Uh, looks like you're going after the, the white segments. Looks like that's, uh, those are the ones that are flashing. Your bullets go through the, the green, yeah. it appears. Uh-oh, that's okay. Now we're good. No, no, no. I got hit there. I like that this doesn't seem to go too far into, like, pure bullet hell territory. Yeah, it seems like it's, you know, it's, it's a manageable game. It's not, you know, yeah. going out of its way to be that type of game, necessarily. I, I suspect it. You know, I'm, I suspect there are stages in this game that are downright unpleasant. Yeah. But blew that guy up. Let's see what happens. Got this meter at the bottom of the screen. Alpha zone is over. Okay, anti-planetary weaponry. That's bad. Warp quake. Hmm. Wait, you're telling me there's another huge battleship? I'll believe it when I see it. Hmm. More flair with the text and everything yeah. in this version. Yeah. So I, you know, numerous modes within which to shoot things. Good thing for a shooter. Yeah. I guess kind of at some point the price depends on how much is here, right? Yeah. We're just drifting through this tunnel sideways. <laughs> 
I was wrong. You, you definitely are using your outrun skills here. Yeah. And definitely no Star Fox skills. Ah, you're shooting out of that spaceship. As far as I know, that's the only other video game series in which you do that. Yeah, you're probably right. We made it out. Let's see what this... Oh, let's see one more boss. The ships look flimsy. Oh, it seems like I'm filling the meter as I'm emptying it by, with kills. Okay. So that's how I was able to keep doing it for so long. Iron, I think I've fought Iron Fossil before. Yeah, was this the first one? It was the first one you fought. I mean, space and, you know, being underwater are, you know, there are some similarities there. So maybe, you know, making fish spaceships. Yeah. You know, would they, would they be maneuverable? You can float in either of them, water or yep. space. Yeah. You can't breathe in either of them? Uh, maybe you can't. I mean, that's... Yeah. Really liking the music in this, this fight as well. Is this jazz? There was a bunch of horns for a little bit that sounded jazzy. It's probably, it's, if it's not jazz, it's ska. Those are the only two horn types of music available. Also James Brown, that genre. Uh, James Brown is a ska musician. Everyone so, knows that's that. That's the worst thing you've ever said. What? <laughs> James Brown is a ska musician. That guy can skank. No. Oh. He can mash potato. He, can pick, he really knows how to pick it up. I don't even know what that means. I bet James Brown could do it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dance move, he can do it. Sure. It's right against the hyperspace comm network. So, you, you know, a sentence of text that tries to tie this together into some kind of planetary warfare. <laughs> sure. sure. That makes some sense, I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got. If this is just going to back out into... Okay. Yeah, it looks like mm. looks like that's it. The AC mode has a couple of options. Yeah, this cabinet thing. Like, I just you know, the, I feel like there's not, there isn't necessarily like a lot of instructions in this game that tell you things like, what is ca what? Why would I want what? Yeah, that's, what good is? Why would I want to be on cabinet eleven? There's zero explanation. Is this though, for right? Is this for ranking stuff? Am I the best on cabinet eleven? <laughs> Rank 187, fool. All right, I don't know. I don't know. Huh. So, yeah, still mysteries to be uncovered within <laughs> Darius vs. CS. Uh, I just don't know if I'm loving I mean, well, we've got this copy of the game, so I'll play more of it, but I, I, I do feel like if left to my own devices, I don't know that this would be something I would check out at the at the price they're offering it at. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it seems like there's stuff in it, so. All right. Yeah. Cool, Dan. Yeah. Let's escape Fort Quick Look. <laughs> oh, if we can. I don't need my lunch in here. All right. See you later. See ya.